Hello kids, it's Mr. Agee here, and uh, I'm here to lead you through the math test, the second part of the mid-module math test for, for module three. To access the test, you go into the green folder here, you click on the uh, math folder, today is Thursday, December 17th, and this is the last day before your winter break, um, and it, this is the last major assignment that you have, unless you're not finished with your projects. Um, but we've got test part two, complete and submit. You click on the button and then you open it with Cami. This test has a lot of text on it um, and it all has to do with the story that started on the first page, which is about being at a carnival. So we've got a boy, Fabrizio, and um, he is going to go through some different situations and um, they give you some multiplication and division problems related to what happens at the carnival. So we'll start with 4a. You can pause and pause and rec and rewind the video as many times as you need so that you can hear um, the words and know what you have to do. I'll be dropping little hints and tips here and there that might help you. So 4a, Fabrizio wins a bumblebee doll with six stripes. He notices that five other children in line for the magic show won the same doll. How many stripes are on six bumblebee dolls? Write an equation using a letter to represent the unknown and solve. So there's two points here, one for writing the correct equation. You've got six bumblebee dolls that each have six stripes and you represent the unknown part with a letter. I would recommend using B for bees or S for stripes or really any letter you want. And then you have to say what how many total stripes there are on the bumblebee dolls, on the, on six bumblebee dolls. Okay, moving on, um, they give you a new part to the story here before introducing item B. So, the magician uses a magic box. Every time he puts an object in, it gets multiplied. Fabrizio writes down what happens each time and tries to find a pattern. Look at his notes to the right. So here are his notes in the table here. We've got a column that represents what went into the box and then a column that represents what came out of the box. So when the magician put in two feathers, 14 feathers came out. When a, ma when a magician put in three marbles, 21 marbles came out. When a magician put in four dice, 28 dice came out. When a magician put in five wands, 35 wands came out. When a magician put in six bean bags, some number of bean bags came out. Now there is a very clear pattern here. We know it's multiplication, so what do you have to multiply on the inside to get on the outside? So two times what is 14? It's the same number every time. Three times what is 21? Three, four times what is 28? Five times what is 35? Another way to look at it is how much are these things going up each time? Because you're going up by one. On the, on the inside, you're going up by one. Two to three to four to five to six. On the outside, you're going up by the same number every single time, and that'll tell you what the, the missing factor is. So item B tells you to use the pattern to fill in the number of bean bags. So you actually have to write the number on this line right here to answer item B. And then in C, what does the magic box do? Explain how you know. Well, it already says it gets multiplied. So it, you should start your sentence like this. It multiplies items by blank. Uh, I could even type that in here. You know, that would be a way to um, explain yourself. It multiplies items by, and then you'll put the number in here and explain after that how you know what you know. Okay, um, moving on to item D. The magician puts 12 rings into the magic box. Fabrizio draws a number bond to find the total number of rings after they are multiplied in the magic box. Use the number bond to show how Fabrizio might have solved the problem. Okay, so they, they, um, 
they tell you here he put 12 rings in. So we're still in this situation here where he's putting things into the magic box. So they say, okay, he's got 12 rings in, and um, to figure out how many come out, he's going to multiply 12 times 7. So um, this goes back to us breaking up bigger numbers to make smaller, easier problems. So um, you're not going to break up the 7, you're going to break up the 12. And I'll give you a couple recommendations. I would personally use um, my, my best friend 10 here because um, you can break a 10. So if I did a 12, and then um, what I want to do is I want to um, break out from the 12. I want to break out my best friend 10, and then what's left over is 2. So um, here in my my on my page I would put you know a 10 I'm not gonna do it in the bubbles and a 2 but that's that just shows you how to break up the 12 you leave the 7 alone so you're gonna be multiplying by 7 in this bubble and multiplying by 7 in this bubble now if you don't want to do 10 and 2 you don't have to do 10 and 2 um, you could do uh, 5 and 7 because if you break 12 up you can break it up into 5 and 7 you could do 6 and 6 and then you only have to do the problem one time um, you have to do the one prime, you take it apart, do six, six times seven, and then double that, and you're good to go. Um, you would write the same, the same expression in both of these bubbles. Um, and then you have to give um, how many rings, how many rings, so uh, blank rings come out of the box. That's what your solution is going to look like. Okay, moving on. Um, to letter E, the final, the final math problem you have for this semester is this item E here, and then you can celebrate because you're done with the first half of math for third grade. Um, after the show, Fabrizio and five friends, they always try to trick kids like this. How many people are there? There's not five. You see that number five, it makes you think there are five people, but Fabrizio's a person too. Okay, so remember, he's a person. Fabrizio and five friends equally share the cost of a $54 magic set. Okay, they use the equation 6 times n equals 54 to figure out how much each person pays. How much does Fabrizio pay? So he's a person, he's one of the six people, so he, that's where the number 6 comes from. The missing number n is how much each kid pays. So um, you could work it out this way. You could do a count by, um, or you could um, do a number bond where you've got 54 in the center and break out six groups of six. Um, you could also flip it around and start with the total and divide 54 by six. How you solve this is your choice, but in the end, you need to, you need to show your work and you need to write, um, uh, actually, you'll start with this, e Fabrizio. Fabrizio pays blank, actually we'll start with a dollar sign, he pays blank dollars. So that's what your answer would look like. Okay, good luck and do your best. If you need to hear these items again, you can restart this video and go back slowly um, and, and stop at, after each question, work through each question, and then um, work your way to through the through the test and then when you're finished make sure you turn in your test by clicking the turn in button here and turn and you got to click it two times for me to get it so turn it in um, good luck do your best I believe in you and remember um, even if you're struggling as long as you're doing your best that is the most important thing you can do have a good attitude and uh, recognize that after this we get a nice long break to relax and uh, I'm super proud of you and your hard work